this is your first time to my page, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, today's project is I need to cut three inches off the top of this four inch piece of uh, cushion foam. We have two couches we purchased uh, a little while back and just over time after you know using them, uh, we're starting to realize that the foam is just a little too thick, a little too stiff um, to be comfortable for us. So what I'm going to be doing is removing three inches off the top of each one of my cushions. And then I'm gonna be adding back in, um, you know, a thickness of a, a softer drometer foam, uh, top and bottom of each cushion. But um, the challenge is how do you do that? How do you remove uh, three inches evenly off of a thick piece of foam like this? So uh, for starters, you need a, a good tool to uh, cut with. Fortunately, most of you probably have one of these, electric bread knife. Um, this works great for foam. It's really the best tool out there for, for cutting foam and it does not need to be a great high quality knife. Um, this one is definitely not by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but it does a job just fine. So once you have a tool for cutting the, the foam, you're still not there because the, the challenge is how do you cut it evenly? Um, my cushion is so wide, uh, my blade can't even reach the middle. So even if I came in from both sides, I wouldn't be able to fully cut this piece of foam. But even if I could, there is really no good way to keep this blade straight. If I have it fully buried in this piece of foam, it's gonna be wandering up and down. And when I was all said and done, my middle is just gonna be a mess. It's gonna be high, it's gonna be low. This is something you're gonna be sitting on. So you really want it to be a nice, even cut all the way across. So how do you do that? Uh, that's, uh, it's with this fixture and it's a super simple, it's a, a piece of plywood with two sides that are cut to the, uh, whatever height you want your foam to be. And then I've got three thicknesses of a really high quality duct tape. Uh, Cause we're going to use duct tape, right? Of course, um, high quality duct tape stretched really tight, really tight across these sides. Um, you want it really tight because it's going to be a guide um, for your knife and just as you guide your, your, your knife across, you don't want anything that's going to flex up or flex down. That's going to obviously affect your height. So I've got it stretched really tight uh, across the sides. I've got it stapled. And then you, you want a, uh, another layer of duct tape on the underside just so you don't have any, you know, you don't have any adhesive, you don't want your adhesive layer. Uh, touching your, your foam. That's going to create a lot of drag as you we pull this through. So I've got another piece of duct tape just underneath just to uh, make sure I'm smooth and uh, tack free uh, top and bottom of my guide. Um, and the, the process is going to be really simple. Uh, we're going to start right up against the, uh, the guide, which is a little bit of a pressure down on the, uh, on the foam. And we are just going to um, bring our knife across maybe, you know, two or three times. Um, we're just going to go maybe an inch or two deep tops into the foam. Um, we could obviously go a lot deeper. The problem is, as I mentioned, the deeper you go, the more likely you are for your blade to start to wander. We're not going to get a good cut. So we're just going to go one or two inches at a time. We're going to be patient. And then once we've made that cut, we're going to move this forward make the cut again and just methodically move our way across until we have a nice four inch piece of uh, flat foam when we're all said and done. Um, every once in a while, I'm going to have to use my blade to, uh, to cut uh, a piece of what I'm of the top piece away because it's going to be in my way. Um, if this were, if we were only removing maybe a half inch or, you know, an, an inch, I could probably peel it back as we move through. Being this thick, I can't really peel this out of the way. So I'm gonna be, every now and then I'm gonna stop and I'm just gonna cut that piece away and then continue on. Um, that's it. So I'm thinking uh, enough talking, we should start doing and uh, let's get this cut.
So the, the cut is done. It wasn't too bad. It took about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, I'm pleased with how this came out. Pretty flat all the way across. Maybe a little high spot here. I've got to trim down a little bit, but honestly, once I cap this with foam top and bottom, um, it's going to be it's going to be really comfortable. A couple things you may have noticed in watching uh, me cut this. I did add a second layer or a second width of duct tape to this guide. Uh, when I did my first cushion, I just kind of realized that I needed this to be a little wider to stabilize the knife a little better. So I did that. And then second thing you probably noticed was that halfway through, I did turn the cushion around. And that was uh, to make it just a little more manageable on pushing the cushion through. But then also, if my uh, cut did start to drift as I was um, moving along the foam, um, turning around and starting fresh when I got to halfway through, just would have minimized the impact of that. So that's why I did that. Um, but yeah, um, pleased with how this came out. And if you made it this far into the video, um, you're either uh, probably a friend or a relative who's just being polite, or you've got your own piece of foam, cushion foam that you were trying to trim down, trying to figure out how you were going to do that. Uh, hopefully this gave you the tools to get that done. And um, it's probably not the only way to do it, but um, I think it's a good way. And it's a way that doesn't require anything beyond what you probably already have around the house. So. Uh, until next time, I've got an uh, interesting project to do around here and maybe a little free time to shoot a video. Take care.